Whoa, look at our house. Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City or Animal Crossing City Folk and we have a new house. That looks crazy but cool. I cannot believe the size of it. And look at our little lamp. Got a little nice little outdoor lamp. I I was not expecting it to look like this. This looks very different to what I was expecting for some reason. It's so tall. Well, there we go. We paid off our debt yesterday. Octavian. I don't know why you're wearing that shirt, but what do you think of our new house? Pretty cool, huh? So I guess we'll go and explore that in a second. But as you'll notice, it is daytime. I have managed to pull myself out of the... Uh, Rossetti rut, we'll call it, where we're determined to meet Mr. Rossetti. I'm guessing it's just not going to happen. I Maybe I'll check tonight, and if he's open, uh, we can include it in tomorrow's episode. But I felt like it was time to have a daytime episode, and I'm glad I did because the town just looks much more inviting and bright and nice uh, during the day. So, yes, we're finally playing during the day again. Okay, I guess we should have a walk around. See if there's a visiting character. Um, and in case you missed it in the last episode, we did just... Oh, there's a butterfly. We haven't caught any bugs really, have we? Maybe we should catch this butterfly. Where's our net? Oh, it must be in our letters, maybe. Um, oh. What have we got in here? Fossils? Oh, no. Lovely kitchen. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sapling. I forgot I put all these in here. We're trying to find the net. Okay. I think there's some fossils in here as well. The fossils can stay in here. What's this? Oh, the golden slingshot. Okay, so we'll put the fossils back. What's this? The one-up mushroom. We need to put those in our storage. Umbrella. We don't really care for the umbrella. Where's our net? There we go. We found it. And we'll just move this oops, sapling over here. There we go. Yes, just in case you missed it. In the last episode, we towards the end, we rearranged our path a little bit. And now it's looking like this. We've got kind of a direct route to the museum. And also, we can go back down towards the town hall. Oh, they're not growing. I didn't think they would grow. Which means we need to plant a tree here. And a tree here. I was hoping to get three along there. Um, but it looks like we're going to have to just put up with only two. But yeah, this is the path now. We joined this up as well. This looking much better, I think. Originally, we had it going across here. As you can see, where we've been running and walking. Um, but that we should put some flowers there. And that should grow back like this. And instead, we joined it around here. I think this looks much more nice. I can't think of a better word. It's a bit more aesthetically pleasing um, rather than having it at the top of the ramp come off. And then it, uh, it was at a very zigzaggy angle. So I think having it a few angles like this, much better. Right, was there a notice on the notice board? We are still looking for the fossils, of course. Maybe they'll be easier to see during the day. No new messages. Uh, we'll have a quick wander around, see if we can see the fossils, and talk to some villagers when we pass them. Might as well go for the money rock. Nope. I think someone said there was one near the museum, but I can't see it. Maybe we got it in the end. Right, let's go for this rock here. Oh, it is the money rock. Okay, at least we're not going to spend too much time trying to get the money rock. There we go. And we're not stopping this Let's Play series until we get that eighth bell bag. It will happen. Okay, it's a good job we found this money rock, actually. We're quite poor at the moment. There we go. We have to look around the edges of the grass deterioration because that seems to be where the fossils like to hide. I'm kind of hoping Wendell is here today. 
Uh, oh, I almost, almost tried the rock, but we don't need to. Yeah, I don't mind running off the path when it's when we're looking for fossils and things like that. It's the path that should be like if we get off the bus, for example, and run to the, um, say the shop or the town hall. That's when we should uh, stay on the path, right? We call a ladybug. So so small, so cute. I totally forgot we were supposed to be catching this butterfly. This is how quickly my mind changes. I think of something, and then two seconds later, I just totally forgot. Hey, everyone. Oops. Oh. What are you guys talking about? Octavian, sorry I called you a pudding head the other day. I was just in a bad mood. So, I didn't mean it, okay? Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I could have been nice at that time, too, Nettie. See, I started a rumor that Pete had dumped you. The gossip! What? You were the one who started that rumor? Well, okay, fine. As long as we're sharing, I was the one who threw fleas on your while back. So I guess that makes us even. What? You did that! Urgh, so angry! No, wait, that's cool. It's time to clear the air, right? Perhaps you will forgive me for changing the nameplate on your house to read Phyllis's house. Seriously, what are these doing to each other? Uh, that was you as well. That was the absolute worst because all because of you, I got the most horrible letters from Pete for a while. Wait, is Pete sending Phyllis hate mail? This is unforgivable. You, you, you pudding head. Oh no, Kitty is raging. Yeah, Kitty's not happy. Octavian's like, should I go and apologize? <laughs> oh, she was having a little paddy there. Okay, well, on to the shop there. I guess we're not going to find this butterfly. All these fossils. Probably around here somewhere. Those are the sort of interactions I... I really like. You don't really get that in New Horizons, do you? Blatantly insulting the other villagers. Oh, here's one. Okay, the only trouble is when we miss a fossil and then we start the next day, there's still more fossils to be found. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Still not sure what to do with this area here, but we'll think of something. Let's check out Nookington, see what we can find today. Hopefully there's some cool items. We're really looking for the pineapple bed, which is part of the fruit set. Uh, your home renovations are finished. Have you had a chance to explore your new two-story home? Imagine a whole other floor of space to do whatever you like. So, shall we discuss the sticky subject of my fee? Let's call it 300, uh, 368,000, but it's not actually that bad when you think about it. Oh, but please remember, you need to pay it all off at once. As always, you can wire me payments from the bell point in the town hall. Just pay me back in your own time whenever you're able to. We're never going to pay you back if you don't start stocking multiple cedar saplings every day. We need more. We like to work with more than just three. Uh, okay, we'll go. Let's, let's have a look what we've got upstairs. Just double check. There's no silver tools here, I don't think. Really desperate for the silver fishing rod, actually, because I suck at fishing. And the, the silver fishing rod is supposed to give you a bit better chance of catching them. And what do we have here? Two robo items. This is so good because we forgot to buy the robo TV the other day. I think we have the robo bed, actually. We've got some weightlifting stuff, a rhino. Let's just double check our catalogue because I just want to double check we have got the bed. I'm pretty sure we put it upstairs at some point, didn't we? Um, hopefully it's not too far down this list. Robo bed, there we go. We definitely, we've got the bed, chair, stereo, clock. So we, so we don't need the bed because we have it in our catalogue and I'm pretty sure we've still got it in our storage, so. But we do want this awesome TV. Yes, 
Uh, yes, yes, that's a Robo TV, a fine choice. It's gonna be yours for 2,360 bells. We'll buy that. Maybe we can have a mixture of space theme and Robo theme upstairs. Uh, thank you very much. Please come see us again soon. This is the thing. We've got so many stuff in storage now. We've got the, some of the kitty items. We've got some of the uh, exotic items and classic items. We've got regal items, space items, Mario items. It's like, what do we actually use upstairs? This is the thing. We need more rooms. It might actually pay to get a second house. I kind of wish you could own multiple houses. Imagine you could pay off your first house. And then Tom Nook would be like, do you want to buy a guest house? Or another, a second home. Now you're living the rich life. That would be so so much better than having like setting up a whole new player, I think. Because then you wouldn't have to switch. You could just decorate the whole room uh, or like both houses. Uh, okay, let's have a look at our points because we haven't checked our points really today. Or recently. Maury, here is your current point status. Rank points, 3,000. 256 points. Your current membership status is bronze. We have been bronze pretty much since we upgraded to the first Nook upgrade. In order to reach the next level, you need 1,744 points. Can I help you with anything else? Um, exchange present. Let's have a look. So we've got just over 3,000. Oh, look. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. The bad bro, uh, the bad bro stash. Toad hat. <laughs> Yoshi Egg. It is Mario Day, by the way. Happy Mario Day. Triple shells, bananas. Cool. So these, this Yoshi Egg and this, all these are new, these bottom ones. I'm guessing there's a Mario hat in here somewhere. Wow, how many points do you have to get to get to these ones? I'm guessing they're all Mario items, are they? Looking at, that looks like a Mario question mark. Huh. Well, we won't be redeeming the points just yet. Because we want to save up and see what the other ones are. So, what do we got in here? Okay, we're going to have to put these back in here. Clear some space. The fossil in here. And we want to buy some flowers. We need to start planting them in other areas as well to try and grow back the grass. Uh, so we'll just quickly grab these flowers. And then I think we should probably check out our second story since we haven't looked in there yet. I wonder how big it is. I wonder if it's as big... Is it the... Is there any two more upgrades or can we expand the upstairs at any point? That would be interesting. I'm pretty sure it's just the same size as it's always going to be though. I might be wrong. Okay, so we got, okay, so is that how many there is? Seven. Oh yeah, five, six, seven, okay. Okay, we'll plant these flowers, then we'll go and check out our new upstairs. It's weird that he didn't give you the option to go for a basement first. Oh look, there's a bee or something. We're gonna start seeing much more bugs than that in the, cause it's spring now. We'll head down here and we'll just plant some in this area here because this is this area definitely needs um, kind of bringing back to life. Oops. I do that every time, I swear. Okay, plant, plant. But let me know what you think of this path here. Did we make the right decision? I think we did. Although I don't want loads of like straight line, like long straight lines. I wasn't keen of the zigzag. It looked a bit weird. So I think we I think we made the right decision. Also, if a house moves in here, it's not going to affect it. So I think we made the right decision. Right, let's head down. Maybe we don't often go over this area. So maybe there's a fossil or something here. Uh, another butterfly. There we go. Might as well catch one while we can. I caught a yellow butterfly. I really wish it would tell you if you've already donated it when you caught it. Um, I don't think we have though, because we haven't... We've only been seeing them for a couple of days. I like the uh, daytime music as well. It's very cheery and upbeat. Oh, here's one. Oops. 
This might be a fossil. Oh, it's the pitfall! Nearly fell in. If that was a pitfall, we would have fell in. Okay, we're doing okay for the fossils. What have we found two so far, haven't we? Um, I don't like the way it rearranges our pockets for us. There we go. Ah, coconuts. We could harvest those. Maybe if we get time a little later. Where are the villagers gone? We're going to have to take a trip to the museum to hand over these butterflies to Blathers. Whoa! Got a tiger butterfly. Here, kitty, kitty. I like the spring. Okay, we've got a bunch of coconuts we can sell. Good, because we now have huge debts. I don't think there's anyone here either. Um, like Wendell or Sahara. Can't find the last fossil. There should be one more, shouldn't there? Is that one? No. There's not really a lot happening over this side of the world. Apart from a weed. It must be hiding behind a tree somewhere. We'll, we'll stumble across it eventually. Hey kitty, glad to see that you've calmed down now. Are you okay? Oh, hello Shorty. I hope you're doing well. You know that house over there is still vacant. I'd buy it as a summer home if I had the money. We were literally just talking about this. I wish I could buy it as a summer home. Um, it's a little sad to see it stay vacant, cat phrase. Do you have any friends who would like to move into our town? Uh, not locally, no. <laughs> Tipper, hey, have you seen any fossils? And why are you wearing the same clothes? Are you wearing the same clothes as Apollo? Oh, uh, hello, Shorty. I hope you're doing well. Hey, listen to this, Shorty. I went shopping at Red Shop the other day. Oh, that reminds me. I need to go and get the painting. And then I saw the same item at Nook's store the next day for half the price. I got so upset. I skipped by his remorse and went straight to the shopper's rage, Pushy. And look, we have a balloon just coming over our heads there. We can find our slingshot. I wonder what happens in this game if it falls in the river. There it is. Wait, was that a bee as well? Oh, I thought I just saw a bee. I'm tempted to see what happens if it falls in the water. There we go. So tomorrow is Sat is Friday today, isn't it? Yeah, Saturday. So tomorrow we can sell the turnip. Oops. Right, um, we're getting a lot going on here, isn't it? Mountain bike, cool! Um, there we go. Right, I'm going to just put this fossil here with the other one. For a second. Uh, I'll sort those out later. Right, while we're here, we probably need to have a look at our two-story home. We haven't looked at it yet, so let's go inside, have a quick look at the uh, upstairs. Very exciting. So the downstairs stays the same size, so this is as big as it gets, basically. Um, I think we should move these upstairs. Oh, our pockets are full. <laughs> of course, our pockets are always full. Um... Right, let's, uh, let's just put these down here for a second. Uh, we're going to take these two blathers shortly, but we need to make some space. Mountain bike, okay, so we're going to put those in. 
At least that way we can clear some space where we want the uh, bed and that to go eventually. But we can just put them upstairs to help with the feng shui. But it's very temporary, don't worry. This is the upstairs. We have no light. <laughs> there we go. And then we can go also upstairs again, of course, to the attic. Um, I forgot we need to get some carpets and things. We'll, uh, we'll deal with these... We'll deal with this room another day next week, after the weekend maybe, and we'll start decorating. But I'm thinking we could make a space-themed room. I definitely don't want more fruit up here. This is just temporary until we put another... Um, until we put another set of furniture in here. I'm thinking a mixture of the... Robo stuff and the space, but let me know what you think There we go, and I think we have we got a candle in here as well Yeah There we go just to light up the room temporarily, uh, but it also will help with the feng shui of the room I, th I believe is it two tiles? It might only be oh it might only be One tile in here So, we'll just do this. That way we're still getting the feng shui points. And the mountain bike's pretty cool, so we'll drop that in here as well. There we go. Don't know why we'd bring it upstairs, but... Um, so, let's, let's have some ideas in the comments what we think we want to do with this room. Do we want to maintain the feng shui throughout the house, but not use the fruit items? I think we've got enough fruit items. Or do we go completely different and go with a space theme, or... Uh, the robo theme, or should we go with a classic furniture set? Let me know what you would like to see in this room. I would love to hear your ideas, please. Um, so that's that room. I don't think it gets any bigger. I'm pretty sure that's as big as it gets. Um, and then after that, we have a basement downstairs, which I believe is the same size as this room. Potentially. Right, let's grab these. We'll take these to Blathers. Um, yeah. I think that's everything we need. We'll just take, take these bugs to blathers. We'll do the fossils maybe at the weekend. Because uh, they can take a, quite a long time. Blathers does like to um, go on and on and on about the fossils. Much more than bugs and I believe. There we go. Called a honey... Oh, honeybee! Oh, we've got some... Uh, Withered flowers here. I think instead of watering like hundreds of flowers every day, it's, it's nice just to try focus on the ones that are withered. At least that way you know which ones need watering. Until we're looking for hybrids and have set things up. I want to get the trees done before I worry about the flowers. Because at least once the trees are down, then we know what we're doing with the flowers. That's my excuse for being lazy anyway. Uh, oh, we're going this way, aren't we? Okay, so, oh, I, I wanted to check the Abel's as well, because it is Mario Day. I wonder if there's a Mario Bros hat is in here or something. Let's double check. It would be really cool if there was, like, one of the, the bro hats. Oh, I don't think there is. Uh, hi there, welcome to the Handmade Fashion Palace of the Abel Sisters. Oh, it's a doctor's thing. And I don't know what that one is. And we've got a camo shirt, number two, spider web. Oh, not a single Mario themed item in here. That's a shame. I wonder, wait, I wonder if the clothes come from the bloom presents as well. Huh. Oh well. If we had more time, I probably could make one. But if I'd have thought of it at the start, we could have made a Mario shirt and just worn it. Or a Mario hat or something. Um, but yeah, that reminds me actually. Do we get horned hats in this game? We must do, mustn't we? Anyway, getting distracted again. Let's try and keep on track for once. See, this is a nice little walk to the museum now. Okay, Blathers will be asleep, but of course we will um, wake him up, hand over these items. Oh, I beg your pardon, a bit of a night owl, don't you know? Uh, now then, may I assist you? You have but to ask. I'm at your service. I would like to donate some bugs. We haven't really donated any bugs. I did do a dung beetle, uh, the ones that push the snowballs around. 
Oh, I might have done Ladybug already. Let's see. Oh, I dare say that is a Ladybug. Stop, do not free it. Leave the beast caged. I wonder why, why does Blathers hate, do we ever find out why he hates it so much other than the fact they're creepy crawlies? There we go, take the bug. Uh, actually, maybe Blathers does talk more about bugs than fossils. Um, we've got three butterflies, I think. We might not need to worry about butterflies now until the summer. Yellow butterflies. In fact, it makes me rather interested to many researchers. Well, you're going to love this next one. We've got a big yellow butterfly. Because, yeah, the, ye the little yellow... Butterfly and the white one are two they're common butterflies, aren't they? So we're going to see them around a bunch. <laughs> Imagine those monstrous bugs flapping about the whole globe. The very thought robs me of sleep. I don't think so somehow. You sleep all day, every day. I think Blathers is stretching the truth there a little bit. Okay, last one. We'll get rid of this. There we go. It's a shame the pitfall seeds don't have more uses. They're... Unless you want to dro drop uh, friends or villagers in it or sell it, they don't really have any uses, do they? Don't worry, Blathers. We won't release the beast. Uh, I salute your patronage. I trust we may continue to rely on your generosity. Of course, no problem. We don't have any gyroids on us. So there's not much point in going to the roost. Uh, but I do think we should harvest all of the coconuts. Maybe plant a couple as well. So let's. Uh, I'll I'll get the slingshot out, I think, and then we'll leave the rest of our tools here. Oh, we forgot to donate the honeybee. Let's go back and donate the honeybee. I'm sure he'll love it. Um, I can't imagine the honeybee is too rare, but may as well, before we forget. Uh, I beg your pardon, I'm a bit of a night owl. In any case, allow me to welcome you some more in our museum. Uh, may I assist you? You have but to ask. Donation, please. Uh, what shall you donate? A tiny little cute honeybee that doesn't sting you. Not like those wasps. Uh, I dare say that is a honeybee. Insects rather bother me. Touching them strikes me as quite revolting. Honeybees are rather famous amongst bees for the impressive teamwork they exhibit. I've even heard that they will swarm over enemies many times their size in an attempt to suffocate them. I must admit it makes me seem rather like a bunch of brave warriors. Even so, when I imagine a massive swarm of bees, a different phrase comes to mind. Enough I say, oh, thanks for the donation. No problem, you can go and handle it with care. I was trying to see where it, the bug bit is over there, actually. I was like, where's the bug bit? And like, oh, yeah. So <laughs> it's that side of the museum. I forget that there's one next to the... You kind of think of the museum. You think the roost is that side. You forget that the bugs are above them. At least I do, anyway. Okay, so back on track. We were heading down to the beach to harvest some much-needed uh, coconuts. Oh yes, we need to plant, maybe we could plant the trees there when we come to get some more cedar trees tomorrow. We desperately need to travel to another town. We need to, we need to be able to buy much more cedar trees. Is that a weed there? No. I thought I saw a weed beh directly behind the tree. Oh, look at all the butterflies! Okay, let's start this end. Doesn't matter if we run on the beach, nothing really happens. We're not going to be able to grow another one behind. Oh, I haven't got my shovel. I don't think we can plant it, can we? No, we need. <laughs> we need the. Uh, we need the shovel. Okay, we'll we'll sell the first batch. The villagers have gone into hiding since they uh, started rumors about each other. It seems. It's 
to Octavian. Hopefully he doesn't start rumors about us. Which reminds me, we probably need to send some villagers some letters, actually. Start some rumors of our own. Who should we start a rumor about? Tipper seems innocent enough. Okay, we're going to run up to the Nookingtons. Oh, we're going to have to go... See, this is another house here. We're going to have to go round the back of the house, in between these two houses here, and in between these two houses. I think we won't be able to lay a path behind... Well, we lay one tile, maybe, behind this house, but... The art of path laying. Who would have thought it was all about avoiding houses? Or villager plots. Oh, we haven't got a watering can on us. Okay, we'll sell these. Uh, may as well sell them. Get some money. Uh, the quicker we do it, the quicker they'll grow back again, so... Uh, tell me what I can do for you. I would like to sell. Uh, the coconuts are turning out to be very lucrative. Get rid of the pitfall seed as well. Oh, pitfall seeds are worth 500 bells as well. Nice. I wasn't expecting that. I thought they were like a thousand bells or something. Maybe we should take them out of the lost and found then and just sell them. We're supposed to go up to the city today and get um, the painting from red. But we'll do that tomorrow maybe. I'm just going to go back this way and collect our shovel so we can plant some coconuts. I forget just how relaxing it is to just walk through a Animal Crossing town and just listen to the music. Right, where did we get up to? The reason we keep the slingshot on us is because at some point Gulliver's got to fly over a UFO. And we don't want to not have a slingshot on us when that happens. Because I think it's incredibly rare. Okay, let's have a look at this. I don't think we can fit another one in here, can we? No. No more trees along here. Unless we can plant one here. Um, berry... Um, I thought about bringing the path down this way as well. I'm not sure whether to plant a tree here or bring the path down to this bit. I do wonder though if we could... <laughs> if we could plant some... Coconuts here. We've got plenty of coconuts. We might as well try, right? Makes sense. See if they grow. I think they would, you know. I think they might. And we probably want one. Uh, what did we decide we were going to do? One here. I guess we're just going to go all out with the coconuts. I thought I had a master plan, but I can't remember what it is. And then we're going to want one here. And one here. A coconut walkway. There we go. And these flowers are going to have to move. Maybe the bees will sting you if you stand around long enough. I think they'll grow there. I don't know about this area, so we'll leave that for now. That would be really cool if they grow, actually. Because um, it just blows my mind, actually, that this one here has grown. And this one. Like, how far away from the beach they are.
Uh, but it seems there's so many trees here, they might not grow, actually. Because there's also a maximum amount of trees I think you can have in each acre. If we want perfect town status at some point, which I think we'll have to, um, we're going to want to start marking out the grids. But then it just makes the town look messy. I don't know whether to... Huh. I suppose we wouldn't have to mark out a whole grid. We could just put the corner points, couldn't we? Something to think about, anyway. I think it was, I think it's 16 tiles, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I think it would be here is the first grid. So one line here, one line here, and then this is one acre. It gets very complicated when it comes to... Um... How many trees you have and how many flowers you have in each acre. Right, let's go sell this last batch. I think we've planted enough coconuts for one day. Oh, hey. Uh, Night, Shorty, I trust your opinion, so there's something I want to ask you. You know how I say yo-yo a lot? Does it make me sound too old? No! It's, it's a young phrase. Really? Glad to hear it. If you think that it's cool, then cool it must be. I think Apollo's desperate to change it. That's the second time he's asked me. If he asks us again, we'll change it. I think he's, maybe he's being a little bit too kind by saying that he accepts our coolness. <laughs> oh, another balloon. Where is it? There it is. What if we can we get it to land on the top? Ah! <laughs> it landed it did land on the top. I was hoping it was gonna stay there forever. Uh, oh. That's okay. It was worth the test. I know maybe everyone's gonna be mad that we didn't get the item, but I really wanted to see if it was just gonna stay up there. Now we know, so we never have to do it again. Okay, so we've got to we've got a, uh, some shells and a bunch of coconuts to sell here. Um, I want to sell. We still got to make pay money to the environment as well. Six thousand. There we go. Okay, let's do a good deed and let's go and pay some money off the town environment thing. I forget what it's called now. It's a town environment fund or something. Because I think we unlock a new bridge at some point. But I do think we're we're pretty far away from unlocking it though. I think we've only donated like 50,000 bells. Um, where is it? It's in the town hall, isn't it? Yeah, we would plant those trees now, but we want to plant cedar trees on this level, so it's going to be... Maybe we get some more cedar trees tomorrow. That's where we can plant it. Hey, Pelly, this is the window for the Civic Center. What can I help you with? The town fund. There we go. Please help Moriland become an even better place by donating to the Moriland fund. Let's do 15. We're feeling generous. I wish you would tell us how many we've donated, though. I think that puts us about 60,000. Uh, now, is there anything else I can help you with? We might as well ask about the environment while we're here. All right, then. Let me read you some of the comments we've received from the town folk here. Huh. It's not a passing grade, but it's not a failing grade. It's the same. D plus. Maybe some people are sending these comments because there's not enough greenery in the area. We've planted so many coconuts and so many flowers. I guess you just can't please people. A telescope, cool. <laughs> we'll sell it. Well, thank you, Pally. I guess that's uh, um, nice to get a free item every once in a while from the recycling center. 
before we quit, we're just going to double check with... Well, not quit, but before we end, finish the episode today, we're going to go check with Booker to make sure we're not missing a visitor. Because there's every chance that, despite we've ran around a couple of times, that we've still missed someone. Uh, although, Pascal we all will always see because he's on a bridge. But Sahara and Wendell, I think, are the only travelling characters. Um... Which is weird, because usually, like, Red is a travelling character, Katrina's a travelling character, but they're all in the city. So. Oh, uh, hi! So, what can I, what can I do for you? What's new? Anyone come through? Didn't notice anyone go through. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, what can I, what can I do for you? Something lost, maybe. We currently have items in the Lost and Found. We definitely have five! We're gonna sell these now. And a sunflower. You've came quite a few there. Oh, uh, it's okay, not a problem. I think I think the sunflower is a yellow item, so that's gonna be good for our feng shui. So what we'll do actually is we'll sell these pitfalls because we have no use for that many pitfalls. And now that now I know they're worth five hundred bells, we may as well keep them. Who's pinging us? Who's happy? Was it Kitty? Octavian and Tr Oh no! The shirt is spreading! It was bad when just Apollo was wearing it. It's funny that they hang around the back of a shop. It was, it was really doing some dodgy deals or something. Right, we'll sell these pitfalls. Um, I want to- Actually, we should look at the- the carpets as well. Uh, sunflower will keep, telescope can go. Um, so we'll quickly, because now we've got a new floor, we should, we need it, we potentially, anyway, depending on what theme we go with, we might need a new carpet, so we'll just have a look at the carpets and wallpapers. That's the sky wall. What does that look like? Oh, wow. Oh, for a second I thought it was the, like a sun or a moon, but it's the, that's the shine of the light, isn't it? No thanks. Uh, that's the kitsy wall, no. That's the old brick wall. I was wondering if we get the robo wall, or is that a Sahara item maybe? Tartan rug, no. Slate flooring? Where's the nice floors? Stone tile? No. I'll pass. Well, may, well, I guess it's an excuse to come back every day. Although we come back to look at the furniture anyway, it gives us a reason to check out the wallpaper and that as well. The only thing is, I don't think you can put wallpaper and carpet on the basement. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they changed that from the GameCube version. Um... But I don't know if they would, so I think it would be much the same. So it's a bit weird that you have a whole room you can decorate, but you can't really decorate the wall. Maybe I'm wrong. It's going to be a while till we find out, though, is the only thing. I just want to quickly look at this sunflower. So we'll head inside. I don't I think it's like a, a, like a mini vase with a sunflower in it, maybe? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah! That's very cute. Why does it look weird this way? There we go. That looks much better. Hopefully that can go on a table when we get another one. Um, maybe we'll move this in the middle. Move him down. There we go. Group them together a little bit. So there we go. It's probably a good place to wrap it up. A very productive day. I felt a lot happier actually. Um, more energetic having a... Oops. Oh no. <laughs> I just picked up the mat. Having a day where it's during the day or an episode during the day. Because um, we have had a lot of nighttime episodes and it's amazing what it... 
how different it makes you feel. But there we go. That's today. We've... I forgot what we've done. We've planted a bunch of coconuts, sold a bunch of coconuts, um, admired our new path, of course, and checked out the two-story home. The new home from our latest upgrade. And we donated some bugs, so we're, we're doing good. I think it was a productive episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, of course, to the channel members. And don't forget to comment um, what you like about this series, what you don't like, any constructive feedback you might have, uh, and of course, what games you'd like to see it played alongside this. I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you. Oh, thank you for the channel members as well, of course. Cannot forget you. Thank you for the support, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!